Tempe High School students testing their engineering skills. Their only material, cardboard and duct tape. It's amazing what these kids can do with this. Carmen is live with more on this. Hey, Carmen. Hey, that's right. Good morning, everyone. So I'm really excited for the races to begin because it's just going to be so cool to see if some of these boats will either sink or floats. They're all made out of cardboard. It's students or high school students in their engineering class from Tempe Union High School District. Here, I have one of the judges with me, Charles Smith. Tell us exactly uh, what goes into judging these competitions. They're always so fun to watch. <laughs> well, they're judged on several criteria. Yeah. They're judged on creativity. They're judged on the engineering process, the process that the students went through to right. ensure their boats float. Uh -huh. And of course, it is a race, so they're they're judged on uh, how fast they can get from right. one end of the pool to the other and beat everybody else. Yeah. So a designated uh, teammate is going to get inside the boat, right, and have to yes. to swim across and back inside the boat. They have to paddle back and oh, forth. Uh, they're only allowed to use <laughs> cardboard and duct tape, mm -hmm. and that includes the oars. So oh, they'll wow. build their oars out of cardboard and duct tape. Yeah. So uh, Mike uh, just showed you guys uh, some of the uh, examples of some of the boats that we actually just saw. Take a look at some of them uh, right here behind us. We've got uh, this one. And uh, I want to have Tyler talk to us a little bit about it because this is your boat, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, me and my teammates worked on it. it. We've been working on it for about the past month now. Yeah. You said lots goes into making these things. You want to make sure that it floats. Mm -hmm. You were talking about buoyancy calculations and all kinds of other really cool stuff that we know nothing about. Physics yeah. goes into this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what you guys do to make sure that your boat is going to float and not sink. Well, you have to make sure that it's not super, super dense, and you have to make sure that it has a lot of surface area uh -huh. to displace the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you just need to make sure that it's big for the amount of weight that it has and uh hopefully we achieve that <laughs> so uh are you guys excited do you think that your boat is the one that's going to make it you guys are gonna win <laughs> i wouldn't say we're gonna win but i would say that we're gonna try our best yeah, try yeah. Best. well good luck to you yeah, sir let's you. go down the line really quick and sh sort of uh, show you guys some of the boats i like this one this one is the mystery canoe. That one's really cute. This one sort of looks like uh, uh, like Nemo uh, from Finding Nemo. And I know that you guys will love this one. This is actually a Russian boat. And down south, right over here on the end, that was actually Tyler's boat. And it was um, a USA boat, too. So I kind of thought that was funny when they got creative with it and made a Russian boat and uh, an American boat. That was really cute. Thank you, Carmen. It's amazing what you can do with duct tape. Yeah, kids are incredible these right. days. Uh